Máme to požehnání vám představit jednu z těchto osvícených přednášek pod názvem Mír a lásky plné potraviny. Třetí část ze šesti v pořadu mezi mistriní a žáky. V angličtině, španělštině a čínštině z 23. března 2012 ve Francii. Yeah, any more good news? Uh, question? Yeah, go ahead. Paraguay. Translator, come down. Spanish. Español. Rabido. Mucho más rabido. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hay mucho tempo aquí, eh? Huh? <laughs> Yo quisiera aprovechar la oportunidad. I would like to have the chance to tell you to tell Master the message thank you let him finish first man <laughs> okay repeat again please Paraguay <laughs> no que quería hacerle llegar los agradecimientos que le habían enviado desde la región de los Amazonas donde usted había enviado unas ayudas un tiempo okay, atrás. Okay, stop. Then he can. I would like to deliver the message of thank you from the area of Amazonas where you sent some money before. I did. Ayuda. Ayuda. Okay. Ayuda. You're welcome. Mm. Tell them con mucho gusto y amor. Y amor, yeah? Ellos se quedaron muy conmovidos por gente de afuera haberse acordado de la situación de ellos. They were very touched that people, foreign people, was concerned about them. We are not foreign people, we are your people. Well, también quería mencionar que nosotros estamos muy agradecidos por darnos oportunidad de trabajar con ella y por permitirnos abrir la vía en Paraguay. And we would like to say thank you for giving us the chance to work with you and also because now we open a loving hut in Paraguay. Hmm. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you very much, Master. Thank you. Your family is doing good job. Excellent. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Y muchas felicitaciones. Okay. <laughs> Mi español no muy bueno. Ah, excusa. <laughs> Perdone. <laughs> Perdone me. Okay. Thank you and welcome hmm, to your house and uh, all the best wishes to your new restaurant, new new project. Last time a uh, television project and now Loving Hood project. <laughs> You're doing good. Your family are really, really blessed. And you are the blessing for the world. Your family, you and your family. Thank you also. Hmm? Did you translate? Did you, you don't have, uh, he said, thank you, I understand. <laughs> translate to him and his family, his wife. What I have said. No, he don't hear nothing. This is welcome to your house, to this place, and that your family is a blessing for the world. Yeah, something like that. You translate it into Spanish, because you're not up there and they cannot hear. Ah, que gra gracias y bienvenidos a esta que es su casa y que su familia, esta su familia es una bendición para el mundo. También, ¿eh? Ok. <laughs> ok, good. ¿Any more? No, estamos muy agradecidos por su guía y por permitirnos venir a verla esta vez más. I'm very grateful for your guidance and because you allow us once more to come to see you. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Nada, yeah? Bienvenido. I want to say something in Spanish, but you know, my Spanish has... I was broken and now even more broken within this Chinese and English and German. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I think your family is beautiful people. Yo pienso que su familia es, que son personas bellas. Yeah, beautiful people. Yeah, inside and outside. Yeah, lovely daughter. Mm. I thank God for such people like you. Okay, and I wish you success. Yeah, in Paraguay. 
Muchas gracias. Yes. Thank you very much. Ah, you're welcome. De nada. Yeah. And by the way, the uh, Loving Hood uh, restaurant, eh? Uh, maybe you should have a little bit. I know you you think uh, the Chinese uh, restaurant don't do well, but because we have to have something different than just Spanish or Western food. Uh, maybe to have a little here and there exotic dishes, you know, like some Vietnamese uh, summer rolls. Is it beautiful, refreshing, and not you do also? Or paradise rolls. Okay, okay, then it's fine. Yeah, me is paradise. And also you have to see what is more favorite you keep and the rest you don't have to. You don't have to have an extensive menu and just have the favorite, okay? All right. Today is the first time I ever went into a Loving Hood restaurant. I mean, in the whole world. And you eat them all the time and I had no chance. The first time ever I taste some Loving Hood food in the restaurant, you know, personally, inside. Yeah, it's a nice restaurant, yeah. Mostly, Loving Hood should have like a uniform kind of, more or less menu, you know, with a few dishes from the native, from each, in each country, a little different, that's it, and the rest should be similar, so people know what to expect when they come in. Okay? Yeah, all right, good. I hope to be able to start up somewhere else. Mm. You can do, yes? I wish you the best. Huh? Start with somewhere that you show of success first, okay? Before you can save the world elsewhere, huh? Okay. Uh, first, you have to save yourself, okay? If you're broke, then you cannot make anything. Uh, if you cannot make a big restaurant, why don't just uh, love in hood cafe? Okay? Simple fast food, you know? Yeah. Just uh, some uh, favorite food and snacks like spring rolls or ha sandwich. And and Soup and wrap and stuff, yes, yes, and coffee and tea and, and smoothie, yes, and cakes, okay, good. And just a small table, no cover, nothing, because the cover is also very expensive to hire them to do it, or if you do it yourself, it takes a lot of time. No need cover, just make the table white or, you know, elegantly black or brown, whatever, and then it just, it's cleaner even, just wipe it clean. And cheaper for the customer, everything will be finer, okay? Voila! Yeah, go up <laughs> <laughs> to your level. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for you to translate. Waiting for you to translate the latest part of the restaurant stuff for other for the Spanish. You did already? No. So so short? Oh you did already while you were here. Okay. These are the only Spanish? Yeah, only three, four people. There are no more Spanish people. Okay, come on. Hello, Master. Hello. Hello. From Hong Kong, I has taken care of two children in the world, and they love Master very much. Who are they? Uh, two uh, children. You are two, two children? Yeah. Your children? Yeah. Of course they love me. Well, what, what is a uh, big they new say, about They say they love you so much. <laughs> So I why? Represent the ah, I see. You want you want to convey their message. I got it. I thought you adopted two children. <laughs> the way you talk is, like, and you're so young. You have two children already. I can't believe it. Yes, because you look I'm like not 14, young. 12. <laughs> okay, good. How old are you? Are you legal? Oh. Legally, mother. Le <laughs> Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Yeah. She looked like fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Then you are legal. <laughs> legal mother. My God. Nobody would believe she's forty-seven. If you go in the a rate movie cinema, they kick you out. <laughs> yeah. She looks so young, eh? She stay like a kid. She looked like a kid, teenage, teenager. Uh, when I was married already to my husband, I'm 20-something or 27, 28 or something, I went to movies with him. They always ask, but children cannot go. <laughs> they always tell me, tell us like this. <laughs> and he said, but she's my wife, not my child. <laughs> Sometimes they ask for my passport or ID, you know, we have to give it to them. Mm. 
But now I don't look so young anymore. But when at that age, look like I stay still, you know. And now I run fast to <laughs> to south. <laughs> run south so fast. A lot of lots of stress. Yes. Okay, but I'm glad I'm healthy and alive. Any more question? No, any more good news? Uh, nice story. Who cooked today? Again. There's a banquet in my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's good, whatever. If you want, you can kick her out for a day and cook for me. I have her, okay. You have her, okay. It's okay. Fine. It's good. And if I'm getting fat, then I can blame her alone, right? You have nothing to do with it, right? Okay. Oh, thank you. And my God, it truly helps, you know, <laughs> help me to develop. <sighs> I have a lot of spiritual equipment that I have to get into. <laughs> And if you make me big, <laughs> I cannot get in. See? See, Bives, go green to save the planet. <laughs> Bives doesn't mean I have to eat veg and eat a lot. Poo, it's hot. Are you hot? Poo, excuse me. Turn on, please. Yes. I don't know if anyone else feels the same, but I don't know what's happened with time at the moment. Time yes. is like speeded up. It's like there's 12 hours in a day instead of 24. I oh, have. Yeah. Is that something to do with the conscious level <laughs> um, accelerating? I'm not sure. Maybe you just want to go home quick. <laughs> <laughs> you get up and it's time to go to sleep again. It's I know, I know. It's very fast nowadays. It's yeah. true. Huh? Yeah. yeah, but also maybe it depends on the, the place. Sometimes I go somewhere. Or I, or I go with somebody, different driver, make me feel different time quality, same route, same uh, speed. But if I drive with one person, it go faster. It will go with another person or have another passenger with me and the driver. It's so slow, so slow, dragging like, oh. If you feel time pass quick, then it's good. Good, yeah. Some outside people feel the same. I've spoken they to them. They do? They feel the same. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's it's really like that. I, actually, I wanted to apologize before that I came late. You know, I don't know. Time just passed so quick. I hardly do anything much. Of course, I have something to do because wherever, whenever you move to a new area, either for working here or it's a lot of work to do. I cannot find anything. You know, it's all in bundles or in bags or. <laughs> You know, keys, I have to look for keys, the wrong keys, and they don't work, and look another keys. So many keys, <laughs> they look similar, <laughs> always the wrong keys all the time. And especially when I'm in a hurry, always the wrong keys, you know? And even the same bunch, they all look the same. In the dark, you don't see much. Even if you write it, you don't even read it. You can't even read it. Oh, is it front or back or upstairs or downstairs, and, you know? And they have all kind of the keys, you know? Front door, you know, front gate, and electric gate, and hand gate, and back door, side door, garage door, storage door, <laughs> a dog's door, bus door. Oh, you know, and it's, you see, a bunch like that, just sometimes for a small house. If you don't have a house, you have a problem. If you have a house, you have a problem. <laughs> If you don't travel, you feel bored. If you travel, you're tired. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're just waiting to die. Maybe it's better in heaven, eh? <laughs> yeah, give me more. Something nice. Master, I wrote a poem for you today. Oh, you did? Yeah, may I? Sure. Hmm. I'm really nervous right now. You are? Yeah. Me too. I, <laughs> I'm not sure what's coming. <laughs> Tell me, honey, are you a poet? You write poem a lot? Just for fun. Okay, yeah, that's what we do, the <laughs> poet. <laughs> yeah, come. It's called Within Dreams, A Dream Remembered. Mm -hmm. Within Dreams, A Dream Remembered, Half Awakened As You Entered, A Loving Smile, Warm Embraced, Drowned in Happiness That You Immensely Graced, Questioning the Questions, Emptiness of Existence, Thousand Words of Endearment, Bewildered, In Prolonged Stillness, Silence answered. Should death uninvitedly come knocking at the door, I fear not. But let me die at the feet of my lovers, since this world has not much to, to offer. offer. Yeah, I knew that. World. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it was just a dream, wooden dreams remembered, 
or perhaps the reality of life, the moment you enter. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Beautiful. Really beautiful. It's not as good as yours, though. <laughs> no, no, no. You cannot compare. Mine is for the world. You know, mundane and divine mixed. Yours is just for divine. Very beautiful. Yours is pure elegant. Thank you. Okay? My poem are mixed, all kinds for all kind of people. So it's not as uh, pure, purely devoted to the divine like yours. Okay? Some are, yes, yes. But mostly I wrote it for myself or for the world, you know, to share their suffer and their sorrow and to help them to let them know that I understand their feeling, see? So it's not uh, it's just not to compare, okay? <laughs> thank you. Oh, Master, I really want to say thank you for all the dangers that you went through and all that you did and doing for us and your love and sacrifice. I, I just don't know how to thank you enough. Oh, it's okay, darling. It's okay. I love you, it's Master. Okay. Thank you. Love you guys too. Laskaví diváci, děkujeme vám, že jste se k nám připojili při sledování dnešního pořadu Mír a lásky plné potraviny, třetí část se šesti, v pořadu mezi mistrní a žáky.